Hey everyone, it's Elsie here and I hope you're all well. So I have a really exciting project to share with you today. Um, my scrappy friend Jessica um, asked me if I would like to create some things with her collection with scrapbook, is it workstat? I'm sure it sounds a lot better in like a German <laughs> accent. Um, and I said, uh, yes, because it's beautiful and I've been eyeing it up for ages so I was really excited she asked me. Um, it's called Aloha and it's very like summery themed um, and it's got a lot of like watercolour textures in it and it's just beautiful. So yeah, I'm still loving my cameo. <laughs> um, things like this um, just make it so easy. This is um, a free cut file from the Paper Issue store. And you know, this is a shape you could easily cut out, um, but yeah, I, I I had the cameo and also, cause like Flamingo's legs are kind of like spindly, um, they are, you know, it's just a bit awkward to cut out by hand. So I just cut it out my cameo and it was so easy. Um, and yeah, I think my camera cut out there, but I ended up stitching around the entire Flamingo as usual. And then um, I, I'm using a pattern paper background. Well, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I I love the papers in this collection and I just wanted, I didn't know how I could possibly cut up that paper. Um, so yeah, it's my background and it's just beautiful like floral thing and it really kind of um, creates a little scene with minimal effort, which is always a great thing. Um, so I have some plain cardstock that I cut the grass out of. This is from Felicity Jane, it's the only um, kind of coloured cardstock I own, <laughs> so um, that's why it's um, a different colour on both sides. And I originally cut it out for the minty blue side, um, it was a really good colour match to kind of the lighter blues in the collection. Um, but then I put the green down and I just ended up loving that more. So yeah, just made everything pop a bit more, added a bit more contrast. So yeah, um, it's another thing that Cameo is really good for. It's like more precise and um, delicate cuts like this um, that I would not be able to do by hand. I suppose you probably could, um, but I don't have much patience for stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I cut the... Um, width of the branding strip off because I wanted to kind of keep as much of that floral in as possible so I stuck the um, the grass strip over the branding strip so I would have more pattern paper on show so I just cut the top off to make it even and the cut apart sheet in the collection has some really great um, pieces on it and very fussy cuttable florals so I was very excited about that so I spent some time fussy cutting all of these beautiful flowers they're just oh I can't I just I can't even <laughs> they're just so beautiful um, and yeah I'm kind of creating a bit of like a flower frame I guess um, yeah and Flamingos are really on trend and it's one of those things, I don't know why they are, um, but I haven't made a flamingo on a page before so, um, you know, why not? It's got some really lovely um, flamingo images in the collection so yeah, I was really inspired by that. And these are gorgeous, they are like vellum stickers, um, they're kind of banners and I wanted to create like some bunting so I yeah just cut them in half and cut out the pennant is it a pennant shape the thing you know what I mean <laughs> um, and yeah I stuck them on some white cardstock because obviously they're kind of transparent and um, yeah I wanted to like put them up on some foam so Yes, just cut them out, they're really easy to cut out and they're just, oh, they're so pretty. Um, yeah, I love them. So I ended up not using any of the pink banners I cut out. Um, I just used the blues and the greens as, yeah, I really wanted the, well, the flamingo is like the main sort of focus of the layout. So I really wanted to make sure I could make that stand out as much as possible. So, 
yeah and now I'm creating my scene I guess uh, I always intend not to create a scene and then I end up just creating a scene on my pages but anyway I enjoy it so oh I don't know what's so I, it's very blue lighting I'm sorry about that <laughs> um, yeah I stitched um, the banners together through my sewing machine and yeah that just gave it a little bit of more um, it gave it the string to make it look like bunting <laughs> um, and yeah I found this kind of quote I guess um, on Etsy well I was kind of inspired by this quote on Etsy um, I saw like an art print of like a flamingo with strut your stuff written on it and I just thought that was quite funny and that was a good sort of title to go with a flamingo thing and I've got this really silly picture of me making like a serious duck face so I thought yeah that that would work quite well um, and as you can see we've got this um, there's a full paper in the collection of these beautiful like watercolored flamingos so I fussy cut a few of those out um, just to frame around my photo and I wanted to add more flamingos in because um, might as well <laughs> um, and so yeah got three flamingos on the page and that gets the rule of thirds or three rule thing in you know what I mean <laughs> um, so I'm obsessed with the alphas as well that came in the collection these they're just the perfect size um, because I really struggle with sort of thickers that are really big um, or tall or something but these are just um, yeah just perfect <laughs> and they've got really lovely images as well on them they've got like stars and hearts and loads of like um, dots and things so that's really great um, yeah so I just added that into the curve of like following the curve of the flamingo and now I'm sort of taking some scraps and punching a load of butterflies out just to scatter around the page just to add a bit more colour in where I felt like it needed um, sort of to try and balance more colour and yeah that's pretty much um, it I ended up it's quite a short video but it, you know <laughs> I always think oh I should have more footage um, because obviously it took longer than it showed because of the stitching and things like that but in terms of kind of how simple it was to put together it's just really easy because I think the background paper just made it everything flow so yeah make sure you check out um, the Aloha collection I'll leave a link below because it's amazing it's so beautiful um, highly recommend so thank you Jessica for sending this to me and yeah I'll leave Jessica's links as well below because she's amazing so yeah I shall see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>